What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. It's good to be back in the vault. When I say it has been a long, hectic five days, I flew out to Vegas. For those who did not see, I was at 2J's Friends and Family event. He invited your boy out. I flew out to Vegas Wednesday night at what 9 o'clock Chicago time landed in Vegas at 11 p.m. 1 o'clock my time went to the 2J's event Thursday literally after the 2J's event I was right back on a plane I wasn't even in Vegas for a full 24 hours then I flew back home to Chicago stayed at the airport for an hour just to fly to Orlando Friday and I literally just got back home maybe three hours ago so I'm tired but being gone, I noticed that I had a tremendous amount of packages and one of these right here, I literally forgot that I even hit on these. So I definitely will be showing you guys these army. Also, if you guys did not see, I do have the Air Jordan 1 Light Fusion Red video up for those who are interested in copping those. Also army, I wanna just give a shout out to all the members of the army that has been congratulating me, showing me nothing but love and support your boy is down a big five. Oh yes, I'm down 50 pounds. That's huge in two and a half months. A lot of people are asking, break what you been doing? What you been doing, bro? Just working out twice a day, trying to eat better. I, I am monitoring what I am eating, but you know, I still gotta have them enjoy meals as well. And on top of that, just drinking a lot of water, uh, tons and tons and tons of water and sugar-free drinks, like sugar-free Gatorades, sugar-free like sparkling ices, things of that nature. So I've been doing good. I feel amazing and the journey is not over. I still got a long ways to go, but I'm gonna continue to push through. So Army, just smash that thumbs up for your boy being down a big 5-0. It's a huge milestone, but like I said, I'm nowhere near done. With that being said, Army, it's been a little bit quiet as of late. As far as releases, nothing crazy to me has dropped Jordan-wise since like the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott's, but it's definitely about to pick up. I was in Orlando and I did do a review of a early Air Jordan in there. So if y'all do want me to drop that video, just keep smashing thumbs up, comment down below, break, drop the video, cause to me that is the Air Jordan one of 2021, okay? I will be dropping that video, but again, Arm, I just wanna see the love and support from you guys and you know, just to know if you guys wanna check it out. Now, in hand right here is a pair of Air Jordans that um I feel like were Stupid, stupid limited. Now, I'm not sure if these are going to pop back up in stores, but from what I'm hearing, these only dropped online on Foot Locker. And quantity was roughly around 2,000. So it was slim pickings on these joints right here. As you guys see, it comes in the black and gold box. Label on these joints read Air Jordan. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you what the label reads. I'll read the label once I show y'all the shoe. All right, I'm gonna just let you know, colorway is white metallic gold. This is a size nine and a half, not a personal pair, and retail is 110 bucks. So by y'all hearing what the retail value is, y'all should know what the shoe could possibly be. White paper, and okay, okay. All right, so y'all see what I got in hand right now. So these are Air Jordan 1 Low SE. Again, colorway is white and metallic gold now i was very very interested in these now y'all know i am not the biggest i don't even want to say i'm not the biggest jordan one low fan now because i ain't gonna stop maybe because your boy getting a little bit smaller i'm just like man jordan one lows ain't that bad now i ain't talking about no retro 11 lows or low sixes or low fives like, yeah, yeah. but retro one lows i'm starting to dig them almost to the point where I'm definitely considering grabbing a Jordan 1 Dior Lowe's if I can find them for a good price. Now, again, these were extremely tough to get. The Air Jordan 1 Low, and I want to say these are called like the Jordan 1 Low Spades or things of that nature. Detailing on these joints is crazy. Now, again, less than two, or, well, maybe not less than two, but around 2,000 pairs of these did drop. And I honestly feel like an army, y'all let me know if y'all agree. But the Jordan 1 Lows have been doing numbers. I mean, not all of them, but specific colorways, specific ones have been doing phenomenal things. And we're going to be getting a couple more Jordan 1 Lows 
next year. Again, I'm going to hold that info. I'm going to hold it down. Holding it down for my boy to drop his information on it. But we are getting some more Retro 1 lows dropping next year. We're getting the Jordan 1 Neutral Gray lows dropping this year as well. So, Jordan 1 lows are definitely going to be on the up and up. And just the quality of these, nice quality. I didn't really know what to expect um, opening the box for these, but... They got a lot going on with these, and I definitely feel like just down the line, just because of how unique this shoe is, I want to say this is the first time that Jordan Brand has ever even done anything with like any cars or anything of that nature with an Air Jordan. So yes, it's a Jordan 1 low, but some Jordan 1 lows are doubling and tripling in price, and I definitely feel like down the line because... A lot of people did not get their hands on these, and I don't even think these dropped on sneakers app. I don't think these dropped on sneakers app, so it didn't give a lot of people the opportunity to actually go for these. So down the line, if you grab the pair and you want to rock it, rock those joints. Y'all see, look, I tell y'all all the time, I pull out heat when heat needs to be poured out. Again, at the 2Js event, I'm going I'm to I'm let y'all go and watch it. If y'all did not see my pictures on IG, I did do an interview with the legendary Bumby at 2J's event as well. So check that out. That is a fire, fire video. It will give you guys the full inside behind the scenes of his dope new store in Las Vegas. So make sure y'all check that out after this video. So Army, I'm going to go ahead and jump on a turntable, get these joints an up close personal look so that y'all can check them out. Then we're going to jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable. Standard Air Jordan 1 box where we get lows, mids, things of that nature. Check out the label, Air Jordan 1 Low SE. Colorway is white metallic gold. Retail was 110. This is a size nine and a half. Flip the lid, nothing special. Standard paper right there. Back to the joints on the turntable, Army. As you guys can see, left shoe has the K for King. Right shoe has the Q for queen on it and just the detailing on these joints is dope as well outsole you got an all red outsole right there you do kind of got like a sale midsole this is kind of like that vintage midsole that they giving us with these joints right here metallic gold stitch q nice quality right there you got your metallic gold nike swoosh and then you got this like bandana style material on the side panel around the toe cap right here and this bandana material right here is leather now what would have been nice is that they would hit us with like a suede on that right there that would have been nice and on the other shoe again you got your k for king the tongue is dope as well now generally on air jordan one lows we get just your standard jump man on the ogs you get the nike air but we got like our we got a space right here with a jump man right in the middle so the detailing on these is just dope very nice detail and again army if you was able to get a pair of these you definitely did strike gold and so red white jump man you do got like your flat laces right here they definitely could have hit us with maybe a spare of gold laces a nice pair of laces would have been nice especially since this is a retro one low se and not just a regular retro one low looking at the heel of the shoe you got your stitched air jordan wing emblem right here as well just nice quality i like the color on these craftsmanship on these joints is dope again it is a low but this is definitely one of the shoes i feel like because of how unique it is this is a one-of-a-kind air jordan to my knowledge i don't remember jordan brand doing anything of this nature and how unique this shoe is so this is definitely one of the shoes that you should keep if you did wind up grabbing them you are lucky and who's to say these joints may you know wind up in stores as well i don't know many people who was able to go in store and actually cop these so if you were one of those lucky people to actually grab these joints in store please let us know in the comment section below here's the inside of the shoe as well and again you can see how yellow and vintage the soles are you know jordan brand has really been playing that to a t with just this vintage sole a lot of people actually like it so army that's pretty much it with these joints right here i'm gonna go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360 then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off all right now army now that you guys have seen the air jordan one spades what do you guys think about them? I like that on, again, I like that on one shoe, you got the queen. On the other shoe, you got the king. 
the detailing on these joints is just mad dope, mad crazy. Even if they did a retro OG hat of these, I still feel like that would be a shoe that probably would sell out and that is, this is more of a, a shoe you put on like a mantle. Like, I don't think that a lot of people will actually rock these, but I definitely see this being a two, three, four hundred dollar shoe down the line. It may not happen this year, but definitely by next year, this shoe will at least be 300 bucks. And it's just a dope, just something different that Jordan brand sometimes, you know, pull from under their sleeves. So Army, y'all let me know how you guys feel about these joints in the comment section below. Again, I like them. It's something different. And I wouldn't say that this would be a shoe that I would just instantly throw on feet. But this is a shoe that I could potentially use for trade bait. I will be throwing these on my trade block account as well. So if y'all are not following me on trade block, make sure you guys are doing that ASAP. Okay, Army, I love you guys. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Again, Army, if y'all want me to drop that sneaker boutique in Orlando video, just let me know in the comment section below. I will drop it for y'all. But again, I want to just hear that the Army wants your boy to drop the video. And I'm not just dropping it because I want to drop it. Unbreakable Army, stand strong like always. And like the merch says, hug your loved ones. And we out.